Democrats and aligned groups have fundraised more than 80 million one week after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, an impressive fundraising haul that comes just ahead of the November midterms, the Associated Press reported. Digital fundraising platform ActBlue recorded those numbers, which found that within the first 24 hours of the Supreme Court's decision being announced, 20 million had been raised, a news outlet noted. Last week, the high court eliminated the constitutional right of an abortion decision that is celebrated by conservatives and blasted by Democrats. The ruling has led a patchwork of states to begin rolling back access to abortion, resulting in girls, women, and other patients having to cross state lines to receive the medical procedure. The decision was anticipated by some after a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion in May indicated the high court was set to overturn Roe, which fueled Democratic fundraising shortly thereafter. Donors gave $12 million through ActBlue from the time of the Supreme Court of the United States' leak through midnight yesterday, giving to groups that are organizing right now abortion funds, reproductive justice groups, both big and small, and candidates who will fight GOP efforts to restrict abortion access. Act Blue tweeted on May 4th. The latest fundraising hall indicates that the issue can excite Democrats' base, but it is not clear how they will translate by November. Democrats are already bracing for losses given President Biden's low approval ratings, high inflation, and the historical precedent that the president's party generally suffers losses in the midterms. The Hill has reached out to Act Blue for comment. Um, they should be bracing to get smushed. Uh, Biden's been fairly lousy, but I, I've always explained this to people and they never seem to be able to get it. I wanted, um, what's his name, Warnock, the senator from Georgia. I wanted him to lose along with Ossoff. Um, and that be, the reason for that is because I didn't want the Democrats to have the Senate. And the reason I didn't want them to have the Senate is because I knew that they would always, they would, they would go from saying, well, we can't do anything because we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have a majority in uh, this particular chamber to, well, we need more seats to increase our majority so that we can actually pass things. There's always a different excuse. And the reason that they have these excuses is not because they can't do anything, because, you know, we've mentioned this before. Biden said he was going to codify Roe v. Wade prior to taking office, and nothing came out of that. The reason that they don't do anything is because they get paid to lose. If Roe v. Wade hadn't have been overturned, there would be no 80 million fundraising haul. These people who unfortunately get a lot of donations from those that, you know, feel as if they're actually making a difference are allowed to benefit off the misery of others. So while some woman would say, oh, my God, now I have to travel from, let's say, Texas to Illinois to get an abortion. Pelosi, Schumer, the rest of these clowns in, in both chambers of Congress, they get they get some extra coins in their pocket from all the outrage and disdain that people have over this decision, which is why they're completely, um, by design, uninterested in doing something to protect this as a right for people to have. And, you know, I'm not one of these people who got upset because Ro Roe v. Wade doesn't affect me. I've, I've explained that before. And uh, I think a lot of people who use it, who have used, who have gotten abortions, do stupid stuff to get themselves there. But if, you know, regardless of that, if you're someone who's been affected, as in wants to have an abortion or feels are going to need to do this at some point, you have to understand the Democrats, just because they're the pro-choice party, are not fighting for that to be a right because they benefit from that right being taken away from you. They they get to go, oh, uh, we are disgusted by this. By the way, can you slip us some coins? And people oblige. So, you know, expect if if the Democrats are able to carry keep the House, which I don't think they, they're either going to lose the House or a Senate or both. They're not going to keep both, both of them. That's my prediction. But if they are able by some miracle to keep both chambers of Congress and dare I say, even expand the number of seats they have, you are not going to see them codify Roe v. Wade. They are going to sit on their behinds for another two years. And then if more rights get taken, like being state, um, you know, state laws that change in different states, whatever, if any other things happen to restrict abortion access, expect some more emails and another payday. 
Because that's all these people care about. They, as long as they're getting some money off of your outrage, they're completely fine with watching your rights go up in flames.